All right, Megan Hicks here with I Run Far, and I'm with ultra running icon, <laughs> Cami Semek, about a day and a half before the North Face Endurance Challenge 50 Mile Championships here in the Marin Headlands, California. Hi, Cami. Hi, Megan. <laughs> How are you? Good. Doing I great. Good. I have to tell you, this is a huge honor for me. Um, we were just talking, but when I got into ultra running, you were sort of a role model that I looked up to. So to be able to sit here on oh. camera and speak with you is a it's a huge deal for me. So oh, thank well, you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> so uh, let's see. I don't even know where to start. You are, yeah, I mean, a decade or more of just really phenomenal ultra performances. But uh, you might be a name that newer ultra runners, at least here in America, are not yet familiar with because you've been spending some time abroad. Yes, um, yes. You and your family lived in Hong Kong for two years? Uh, or? Two and a half years. Two yeah. and a half years. Yeah. So uh, your time in Hong Kong was born out of your husband's work? Or? Yep. Yeah, so he, um, actually it was at this race probably five years ago when um, I had just finished a run and I uh, was doing some stretching and I ran into an ultra runner um, from Asia, from Hong Kong, who's a North Face athlete, Stone Tang. Uh -huh. And Stone was stretching also and we started up this conversation and he said, um, I said, how is the running in Hong Kong? And he said, it is phenomenal. We have so many trails. <laughs> so when my husband had this opportunity, that conversation popped up for me in the back of my mind and you know without doing a lot of research I said let's do it let's you know let's move to Hong Kong let's awesome. go check it out <laughs> and so you did that and you spent some time running there you yep. learned how to run stairs yes up and down yep. yeah I'm so. you know not great but I can handle them now <laughs> <laughs> and you did race while you're over there I know you yep. ran the North Face 100k in China yeah um, elsewhere in Asia and you ran the Lantau yes there's a, a 50k in Lantau and I ran the Hong Kong 50k okay. and then there's another um, uh, it's a time trial actually it was kind of fun um, around Hong Kong it was about 40 miles and then I was a part of a uh, women's trail walker team oh cool uh, and we broke the course record so and that was probably of all the racing that I did in Hong Kong that the trail walker event was the highlight. Um, and you were on that team, was it with you, Claire Price, and who? Yep, uh, Jeanette Holmes. That's right. Uh, and um, Jeanette Wang. Okay. So, yes, cool. yeah, she's a lot of fun. And now that you've been back in the States for a little under a year now, yep. eight months, nine months, something mm -hmm. like that, yep. when you look back on your experience there in Hong Kong, like, do you have some, I don't know, perspective on, on how it went, your time there? Yeah, yeah. I guess um, you know. I really felt like I needed. I actually needed a change from the running scene here in the states. Like, you know, you kind of get to a point in your career where you need a bit of a, a break mentally, and um, and I just wanted to see a different part of the world. And and that time in Asia really gave me that opportunity. And you know, so I kind of took hold of it and did some really interesting travel and had some just amazing experiences and saw some great. Amazing, great parts of the world. Um, one of the things in, in Hong Kong, it affords you the ability to just hop on a plane and you know, I did stage races in Nepal, I was in you know stage racing in Tibet and China. And you really experienced Asia. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is just such an interesting way, you know, on your feet to experience the culture. Cool. And you know, the, the people who I was working with on these various events, you know, I kind of got um, hooked into a guy who had a similar uh, perspective on how he wanted to experience travel in Asia. And um, and so we were, you know, in some really remote spots seeing, you know, really seeing how the locals lived. So that's, awesome. that's That's interesting to me. Yeah. So now you're back and kind of embedded in the North American ultra running culture yep, again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it must have changed a bit while you've been gone. Oh, you know shocking yeah. actually to see how ultra running has exploded I mean it well during my time in Hong Kong the um, the sport really took off you know races were popping up 100k 50k and filling up within a day and okay. so so then to come back here and to to then see how much the sport has changed so you know more competitive more prize money just people from all disciplines kind of moving into the sport um, and you know, it's, I think it's really interesting. It's kind of, you know, fun to be 
mixing it up again. Cool. Yeah. Well, well welcome back. Yeah, thanks. Um, I want to go back in your, your story a little bit because, um, you know, one of the things that I remember from when I got into ultra running eight or ten years ago uh, was a, a North Face ad campaign uh, okay. with you yeah. running with your daughter. Yep. And you had her in a backpack and you were bombing down a hill <laughs> and your quad muscles were just bulging yeah. with holding, <laughs> holding the weight of her up. Well, you just said a minute ago she's 12 now and yeah. she's about your height. Yep. Um, yeah. When you look back at that time in your running, um, it was a quieter sport. Yes. You know, you were kind of running alone at the front of a lot of different races. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it kind of funny to look back on now, given? Well, I think what um, one of the things that uh, kind of reflecting back on that time is that it takes a lot of uh, the intersection of a lot of different special things to happen in order to enable you to be, you know, one of the best runners. And so I look back on that time in my life and kind of building myself up towards that, um, the pinnacle of, you know, some of the things that I've achieved, it, it really is a special time. It takes a, you know, a special community. It takes a certain place in your life um, to allow you to do the things that, that, you know, to allow me to do the things that I did. And, um, you know, I'm forever grateful for that. Yeah. And grateful for my daughter for the extra training that she provided <laughs> me. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't put her in a backpack anymore. No, either. sometimes I wish I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, as a preteen, she'd probably be mortified if you tried. Oh, goodness. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, your sort of previous, it's hard to look at it as a previous career, but from my perspective, you know, it was. Cami Semic then, Cami went to Asia, now mm -hmm. Cami's back. So yep. that's sort of my window looking um, at you. Yeah. But you ticked off about all the big races and podium finishes in them. I mean, you had a, a third place at Comrades, a win at the 100K World Championships, another podium at the 100K World Championships, a second place at Western States. I mean, a third place here, if I remember right. Um, yeah, and I actually won this race at few years ago so yeah. sorry yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's all right I mean, I'm, yeah you know more about me than I know so <laughs> well, I mean, you've checked them all off the list but yet you're still back at mm. back at you know one of the one of the ones that sort of floated to the top as the one of the most competitive races now in North America yes yeah still want to do this stuff yeah you know and in, in coming back from Asia I guess um, uh, I guess I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next okay. and the things that have captured my heart is kind of this this intersection of really interesting travel and racing okay. um, or exploration okay and uh, you know the the film that that I just um, helped put together and produce um, you know tracing the tea and horse trail uh, I, I think that really exemplifies more of the direction that I'd like to go. Okay. Um, but but having said that, I still you know sometimes when I'm running, I'm like ah, oh, I still have it. You know, this yeah. feels good, and I want to see how far I can, you know, how far I can go and how fast I can go. So I'm you know just kind of taking those two things, the exploration as well as the competitiveness, and we'll see where I go with that. Okay. Well, you yeah. told me just a minute ago, make no mistake, you are here to compete this weekend. So uh, given some physical setbacks in the mm. last half a year or so, you're still yep. here to run as, as hard as you can. And uh, sure. exploring might come second, right. second to that <laughs> this weekend. I won't be looking for the local tribes along the hills of the Marin <laughs> Headlands. So, yeah, so I'll be more focused on, you know, how many uh, people are in front of me. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, looking forward, do you have um, some adventures or some sort of exploratory runs on your um, actual calendar or your dreamscape for the future? Yeah, well, I'm headed to Nepal in April okay. um, to do a stage race uh, in the Mustang region, uh -huh. um, which is a lesser known region of Nepal. Um, uh, all regions of Nepal are lesser known, but this is even <laughs> lesser known than that. Uh, so that's that'll be a big focus for me. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I just want to see where my fitness is at. I would love to go back to Comrades because it's an uphill year. Okay. And, you know, I think that that course really um, suits me well, the uphill course does. So we'll see what happens there. And then there's something interesting in um, 
uh, Norway, a more of a point to point kind of a uh, run that okay. I can make it competitive or I can just make it exploratory. So okay. I'm not, you know, haven't decided yet on that. Okay. But yeah. So we'll see. We'll see where things go. Cool. Mm. Some adventures up your sleeve all around the world. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, you know, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, best of luck to you this weekend. Yeah, thank and you. And we'll look forward to uh, putting your picture on the internet. Right. We're seeing you in front of the race. <laughs> right. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Good luck, Yami. Yeah, thanks, Megan. It's a huge pleasure to speak with you. Yeah, well, thanks for taking the time.